Guys, I hope you can hear me okay out here, and it may be really weird lighting, but I, I tried to do this in the car, and um, I can't find anywhere to put the phone. I need a tripod. <laughs> but uh, I've been praying for God to show me if there were some things He wanted me to share uh, with other people that He's been speaking to me. A lot of times He'll give me prophetic dreams uh, or words that are just relevant to my life. Uh, as He does for all of us, He may speak to us in various ways. Uh, but what I've been asking is whether or not He wanted me to share some of these things with other people uh, in the body of Christ because what would encourage me may also encourage you. So I was praying and asking him that last night before bed and I couldn't feel like there was anything particular he was wanting me to share even though I've had some vivid, amazing um, dreams that, that line up with scripture and illustrate it and, and speak into my life and could really encourage other people as well I would imagine. Uh, but that was not anything that he wanted me to share so far. But I went to bed, and I was really tired, and I thought I would fall instantly to sleep. And so I started started dozing off, and the Lord woke me up multiple times, gosh, between probably 2 o'clock until, I don't think I finally fell asleep until around 5. <laughs> and I'm not going to share everything that, that he showed me, but there are two things that I felt like uh, might be something that might be an encouragement to someone other than me. And the first thing when I was dozing off that God woke me up to say was uh, I heard in my head something we've probably heard before, possibly, um, well, this is going to sound funny, I'll just say it. What I heard in my head was participants will be compensated for their time and travel. And I was, <laughs> it really sounded like something off of a, um, like a um, medical study or uh, a research commercial you know like if you go and, and they want to uh, have some of you take a placebo and some of you take whatever medicine they're wanting to research um, and to do like a clinical trial you've heard I've heard people say that you'll be compensated for your time and for your travel but I had no reason to be thinking anything like that and I wasn't thinking anything of that sort and um, I kind of got tickled but God let me know to put it in my phone and write it down. And when I got up this morning, it, it became really clear to me that that really lines up with a lot of scripture. Because when you look at stories like of Joseph or of Job, particularly, those are two that come to mind right now. Um, these are people who God gave great promises to for a good future, for Joseph anyway. And Job started out with some good things going on in his life. Uh, but they hit really, really bad hardships. And in the end, they were, you know, for Job's case, it says that God restored double everything that Joseph lost. I mean, that Job lost. Sorry, I'm switching stories. And so his former years were not as good as his latter. And actually, that's funny because that's one thing God woke me up with uh, about a month ago in my sleep. And he, he woke me up with a scripture that says that Job's latter years were better than his former years. Um, and that's something that God's been speaking to me. And, and that applies to a lot of you all. If you've had hardships, um, and you've went through a lot of trials and trauma, and you've not seen the promises. Oh, sorry. <laughs> you've not seen the promises of God come through just yet. Then just know your story's not over. Um, and your latter years may be far better than your former. Uh, but I thought that phrase was kind of funny that God said that participants will be compensated for their time and travel So if you've suffered you're going to be compensated your time has not been wasted. It's not been in vain um, the Lord has the best compensation program um, He can he can pay us back Double he can pay us back seven times a hundred times and he can pay us back in ways beyond monetary, beyond um, any kind of benefit that we could think of needing or wanting on our own. And he knows better uh, what will be a blessing to us than we could ever ask for for ourselves. He can give us exceedingly abundantly above all that we ever ask or imagine. And uh, I think that really is something he's wanting to say to a lot of people that have been suffering. Uh, you're going to be compensated. It's coming. Now, this next thing that he woke me up with uh, was really peculiar uh, and I, again I was trying to fall asleep and he kept waking me up with other other phrases in my head or visions or dreams and um, this was again someone will speak things to me and I'll think I think that word sounds familiar but I might not even be certain that it's a word I know the meaning of 
And to me, that kind of validates that it is from God because it's not something I would be saying in my own day-to-day -day vocabulary. And if I'm not even completely certain of what the word means, then I'm sure I wouldn't be thinking it up on my own. Uh, and so what God spoke to me the next time is he said, pundits have been polluting the airways. Okay, now I know I've heard the word pundits, but I wasn't completely certain that I understood what the meaning of the word was. Um, I think from context clues, I could kind of figure it out a little bit, but it was probably four in the morning. So, you know, I wasn't really thinking clear. So I went ahead and looked it up, laying there at four in the morning. If God's going to wake me up. I might as well, uh, you know, Google it. Um, so <laughs> I looked up in pundits. Um, originally, it had a positive connotation as being someone that's an expert in a field. But now it's more commonly used to, uh, it's said to refer to someone that might be like a know-it-all or a blowhard who may be giving um, um, overinflated information or um, maybe arrogant information or critical information. So someone that may try to act like they know and paint a picture a certain way or tout themselves to be an expert when they really don't know what they're talking about. So God was saying that pundits have been polluting the airwaves. And what I took that to mean as I was reading and um, studying and praying on it was that we hear things from people and we hear things from the news and we hear things from, um, I think, demonic voices. You know, Satan will speak into our mind and he will contradict the word of God and he will contradict what he sees God doing in the spirit realm. So lots of times we're thinking and feeling and hearing things that are completely contrary and contradictory to what God is actually doing. Um, and I'm sure all of you have experienced thinking really negative thoughts whenever God is actually telling you really good things or maybe even feeling really down uh, when things are going well, maybe having um, a spirit of foreboding, a foreboding spirit where even though things are good, you're expecting them to go bad or, um, you know, just a fearful spirit. But the Lord was just saying that, that pundits have been polluting the airwaves. So don't listen to any voice of a person or a news media or, you know, friend, a spouse, a um, or just a negative thought in your own head that could be, you know, the devil speaking to you. Do not listen to those voices that are contrary to the word of God, of anything that he's spoken into your life, uh, or of anything that you know goes against what he would want for your life. Um, so those are two things that he spoke to me. Uh, they seem kind of peculiar, but like I said, God has been speaking to me through um, dreams and visions and things like that so much more um, since the end of summer, maybe early fall, I've experienced dreams and, and things like that before, and God has definitely spoke through the prophetic, but it is intensified, and everyone I'm talking to um, that has a really close walk with the Lord and that is Holy Spirit-filled and who seeks to be in His presence, I'm hearing it everywhere. I'm hearing that I'm not the only one, and you may be hearing more from God on those realms too. Be open to it. Seek Him. Um, ask Him to speak to you in ways He's never spoke to you before. It's really exciting. and. Um, whatever he tells you, believe it. Latch on to it. Don't listen to the pundits, you know, and know that your just reward and your compensation is coming.